There are some basic things in maths that you just have to learn off by heart. Two of those things are doubling and halving, at least with numbers that total 100. I'm going to look at some of the patterns here. So starting with doubling numbers from 1 to 10. Make sure that your child is familiar with these. Once they know the pattern for doubling 1 to 10, that will help them doubling numbers up to double 50. I've laid these out so that you can see a pattern with the way the numbers work when they're doubled. Comparing doubling 11 up to double 20 with doubling 1 to 10. And I've put them beside each other so that you can see. Any number you double with 1 in the 1s will give you a 2 in the 1s. Anything you double with a 2 in the 1s will give you a 4 in the 1s. Anything you double with a 3 in the 1s will give you a 6 in the 1s. And anything you double with a 4 in the 1s will give you an 8 in the 1s. Where it starts to get a little bit more difficult to remember is when we get to something with 5 in the 1s column. Doubling 15, what you need to remember here is you're doubling 10 and you're doubling 5. Double 10 is 20 and double 5 is 10. And if you add 20 and 10 together, you get 30. From doubling 16 to doubling 19 also can cause some confusion. If you have a look back at doubling 6, you'll see that you get 12. And you'll notice as we go across here that every number you double that has a 6 in the 1s column will give you an answer that has a 2 in the 1s column. So if you can remember that double 6 is 12, that helps you to remember that double 16 and double 26 will also have 2s in the 1s column. What we have here is double 10 and double 6. Double 10 is 20 and double 6 is 12. And if you add 20 and 12, you get 32. But also remembering that there will be a 2 in that 1's column, it's just helpful to see the pattern. Some children are better at maths when they learn patterns and some children need to understand what's happening with the numbers. So there's more than one way of looking at this. The same with double 17, that's going to have a 4 in the units, double 10 and double 7. And when you add double 10, you get 20, and double 7 is 14, and when you add that together, you get 34. And the same works, double 18, if you remember that double 8 is 16, that helps you to remember that double 18 will be 36. If you remember that double 9 is 18, that will help you to remember that double 19 is 38. Some children are still inclined to think double 18, that must be 26, but remember that you've gone over the next tens boundary. Doubling multiples of 10 tends not to cause as much of a problem because many children can work out that double 20 will be 40. Looking at doubling from 21 to 30, the same pattern will follow across. Double 21 to double 24, they're not too bad because once again you can double the tens and you can double the ones and put them together. Double 25, you need to remember that you're doubling 20 and doubling 5, so you're going to end up with 40 add 10, which is 50. And then remembering that from 26 to 29, it's going to be 50 something. And then remembering how the pattern works for anything that you double with a 6 in the 1s will help you to remember that that's 52. Anything with 7 in the 1s will help you to remember that double 27 is 54. Remembering that anything with an 8 in the 1s means that double 28 is 56 and remembering the pattern anything with a 9 in the 1's column when you double it it will give you an 8 in the 1's column and remembering that this is 58.
and double 30, you're just doubling the 3 in the tens to make it 6, lots of 10. And if you can carry this pattern on along with doubling from 31 to 40, those first four not too bad because you're doubling the units or doubling the ones and doubling the tens. But then 35 is going to be double 30 and double 5. Double 30 is 60, double 5 is 10. Add those together and you get 70. And then remembering that from 36 to 39, it's going to be 70 something when you double those numbers. And remembering that pattern, thinking about which digit is in the ones column and the pattern when you double that digit. And you can use this to help you double all the numbers up to 50 to take you up to double 50, which is 100.